Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to this week's video blog. I promised that I'd be doing them uh, weekly, so here we go. So just a few updates what's going on around the place this week and what we're planning for next week as well. So first thing to tell you about is our contract with Gorby's Nightclub. It finished just before Christmas. Um, we decided to end the contract due to um, various reasons around recession, irresolvable differences as well. So what that means for you as students is that it's no longer the official UC nightclub and also all the money that we would normally get from our sponsorship deals with nightclubs um, like Gorby's they all go into the Student Hardship Fund to help you fellow students um, find your way through college if you're having difficulty. Um, so the only club that we're still affiliated to at the moment is the Classic on Wednesday nights. So we really appreciate it if you go to the Classic on Wednesday nights and keep that fund well funded for students in hardship and in difficulty. And think about that when you're choosing the club that you go to. We're currently in negotiations with new clubs um, for the rest of the year and for New Year as well. So hopefully we'll have some very good news for you in the next couple of weeks and we're working very hard on that. So the second thing I want to talk to you about is the student council that is on, on this Wednesday coming. Um, president of the university, Mike, Dr. Michael Murphy, is going to be there. So this is your opportunity to quiz the president on something, to ask him questions, to find out what he's been doing, to ask him to pick a, take a pay cut if that's what you want to do. It's your opportunity to voice your concerns, your questions to the president university who represents us all at large in the media nationally and internationally. So that is going to be on at 7 o'clock in the Kane building in G19 um, this Wednesday. So hopefully I'll see you all there. Next thing I want to talk to you about is um, a brand new event that we're doing. It's called a discussion um, on women in student politics and in the student union. So it's been hosted by our gender equality officer, Audrey Ellard Walsh. Uh, it's the first time it's ever been done. I think it's one of the first in Ireland that an SU has done. So we're gonna have talks from people like um, Sandra McAvoy from the Women's Studies UCC, past um, female officers of the Students' Union. We're going to be, I'm going to be giving a workshop on how to campaign uh, and get elected if you want to be involved as a woman in student in politics. And it's going to be a very interesting discussion with Q&As, etc. And you're going to have people who are very experienced in the field of psychology, sociology, elections, and politics. And we're getting people from all across um, Ireland interested in the event. So that's going to be on this Thursday. Um, you can check out my presidential blog for the time and details and where it's going to be on. And the SU as well have a event separate on Facebook. So the uh, third thing I want to talk to you about is something very close and very dear to my heart. Uh, my heart, I should say. I'm not a time lord from Doctor Who. Um, and, the Brook and the Brookfield students is nursing student placements. Uh, and this is something I'm really, really passionate about. And I hope that you really take it on board. On the 22nd of December, uh, a letter was sent to the INMO, which is Irish uh, Nurses and Midwifery Organization, and also all the student nursing departments and all the colleges around Ireland, saying that as of January 2011, um, the nursing students in fourth that be going on placement would no longer receive 80% uh, of a full-time nurse's salary, um, they would get 76%. I know it doesn't sound like a big cut, but what they also said was, um, every year after that, they're going to be getting less and less. So the year after that will be 60%, the year after that will be 50%, the year after that will be 40%. And then for the students that will be entering in this September coming, they will never ever get paid for doing the work on wards, 12 hour shifts, five or six days or seven days a week that nursing students usually do. So this is really tantamount to slave labor in our eyes here in the Students' Union. In the National Students' Union, the, University, the Union of Students in Ireland, we have a very heavy discussion on this. And we decided to support the student nurses in their endeavors. So I'm asking you to really help your fellow students and the nursing students Brookfield um, when this is going to come up. And there'll be a lot of talk about this in the media and also through the Students' Union as well. Um, they are discussing all of manners of campaigning and I suppose ideas, everything including walkouts. And I think we really need to stand by those people who care the most for those vulnerable in our society and those people on the wards. So there is going to be a very public and an open um, meeting in Cork University Hospital, CUH, this Thursday coming at half six uh, in the lecture hall in CUH. And that information is going to be on my presidential blog as well, so you can find out about that. I really encourage you to get involved. This is a very serious issue and a very passionate issue for many nursing students in UCC. I will really stand by each other to ensure that these people aren't expected to do the worst kind of jobs on placement. Um, they, they look after the old, the elderly, the young, um, the poor, the poor and vulnerable society, and they do the worst jobs realistically because they're the students. They get the worst hours and they get the most horrible jobs inside there. So this is going to affect nursing students, general nursing students, the midwifery students, the intellectual disabilities, and probably the psych nurses as well. So hopefully you'll get passionate with this issue. The last thing I want to talk about is the raise and give week um, that's coming up. 
I'm asking all the clubs and sides to send me in all their details of the events that they're running so we can include them in the timetable. But I'm also asking you to get involved. I really want you to get involved in Raise Give Week and put your stamp on it and your mark so you can make it the best Raise Give Week that we've had um, so far. We've been doing a lot of work on all the organising and the timetable is going to be coming out. And the Raise Give Week again will be on from the 14th of February to the 18th of February. Um, we literally this week are going to be confirming the artists, the venues and all the acts that we've got playing. We're really excited and really passionate about it. Um, so hopefully you'll be happy with what we've done and if not I'm sure you're going to tell us. So that's all for me. Please check out collegeroad.ie for further updates. Red FM are doing a competition where to pay your bills um, which you might be interested in and other stuff as well. Uh, thanks very much for listening to the video blog and I hope it's a bit shorter than usual. Slot that.